Let me show you how to make a Das character the playable character in a third-person project like this one here. This is in Unreal Engine 5.1 and it'll work in future versions of Unreal Engine just the same. I can walk around with a third-person character here and I want to turn this into a playable Das character. Let's see how to do that. The first step that we need to do is in Das Studio. I've just installed the Das to Unreal plugin with the install manager. I'm going to need to close my project down down. I've already done it just you know so that you know what what you need to do you need to close the project down then come up over here to file send to das to unreal then open up the advanced settings here pick your engine version and then go and install the plugin into your project directory you can also install it into the engine but keeping it compartmentalized into your project means you can have different projects with different versions running at the same time just in case you ever need that so you go and navigate to wherever this is like das demos and this is my top folder here for that project and then you just say select folder and then it'll go and install itself in there i've already done it you need to then go and close Unreal Engine down and reopen the project so that you can send over the character so that I can receive it. So I can go and disable this again here. And I'm going to go and, in fact, select my character here. So this is Mira 9, one of the new characters here. Hello, Mira. How are you doing? I'm just going to send over the body and the clothing. She's wearing the Nocturne outfit. And I'm not going to send over the hair because the hair is a card based hair that was made for Genesis 8. So I'm going to deal with that in a separate video. Notice that it is not parented to Mira. It lives outside this hierarchy. here. I'm going to make it invisible because we're just focusing on the character for now. So select the character, head over to File, Send to Das to Unreal, and then give it a name. Like in my case, it'll be Mira 9. And it is a skeletal mesh, so that's exactly what I need. I'm going to hit Accept. And assuming that Unreal Engine is open after you restart, it can now go and start receiving the files. It takes a moment for that process to happen. This is what Das Studio will say at the end. Export phase from Das Studio complete. Now switch to Unreal Engine for the import phase. And that doesn't work with Alt Tab. You have to go and literally minimize Das Studio. And then if Unreal Engine is open, it starts receiving all the bits and pieces. There we have it. That's done it. Thousands of windows open. That's totally fine, including this one here. We can totally ignore that. Don't worry about these. They're going to disappear in a moment. If you now bring up your content browser, you will see that we have a new directory called das to unreal inside of which we have a new directory for our character, which is Mira 9. So it's the name I've given it in the bridge. So here we have some relevant assets here, skeleton, physics asset, a control rig, and we also have Mira. So we can go and left click and drag Mira into the viewport and then go and rotate her around and see if the mesh looks okay. And there we go. She is wearing everything. Some things are, looks like they've been separated, like this little belt buckle thing here, but we can go and fix that in Blender. Likewise, the materials, if that's a little bit too shiny, there's a way to fix that. I'll show you that in upcoming videos. So for now, let's turn her into the playable character. So that is made possible, let me go delete her, by the magic of an included retargeter asset. Let me go and bring up my third person player character here. Just go double click it. It's in third person blueprints. And when you double click it, it opens it. I'll go and dock it up here. Let's go to the viewport. And we know the navigation is already working fine on this character. So what we need to do now is not actually replace the character here. I mean, we can do that, but that's a lot of work. A much easier way is to use live retargeting. And that means we're going to go and add a new skeletal mesh here. And I'll parent that to our current playable character, which is called Mesh. I'm going to call mine Daz Mesh. So I have a separate skeletal mesh that will be attached to this character. And for this, we need to supply two things. One is a skeletal mesh, which in our case will be Mirror. That is essentially a character parented to the mannequin. And we also need to supply an animation blueprint. And currently we don't have one, so we need to make one just for Mirror. And there is something, so we're going to go make that in our mirror folder here, right click in that, head over to animation and to animation blueprint. We're going to create a new one with that we're going to base on the mirror skeleton. So depending on what you've called your character, it'll be something else here, but whatever your name underscore skeleton is, that's what we want to base that on. So it's essentially this asset here that's been created in your characters folder. Select that. 
give it a name. I'll call it ABP Mirror in my case. And then I'll go and double click to open that. And animation blueprints can get quite complicated, but thankfully we only need a single node and that needs to be connected to the output pose. So this is essentially what the blueprint is delivering as a pose. We're going to left click and drag out of this and attach something called retarget, whoops, retarget pose from mesh. That's the one. And this node will need an input, namely up here, we need to specify an IK retargeter asset. And thankfully, the Dash to Unreal Bridge comes with several, one for Genesis 9, one for Genesis 8 and 8.1, .1, and one for Genesis 3. And the way to do that is to just, if you don't see it here, it can be sometimes it looks like this and there's no drop down menu, just left click and drag this out here so that this drop down comes up and have a look in the list and find it from here. So mine shows up as G9 retargeter. There's one for Genesis 9, one for 8 and one for 3 here. If these things don't show up, have a look in either with this icon here or even in your content browser where it says settings here. If you click that, make sure that both show engine content and show plugin content is enabled here. If they are not enabled, this was very confusing to me when I first got started started with this, these retargeters don't show up. So anything that is supplied with the plugin that needs to show up in, in the content browser on a selection list, that needs to have that enabled. So let's go make that happen. Engine content and also plugin content. And then these things show up here. So I'm going to pick the Genesis 9 retargeter and that's it. That's us done with the animation blueprint. We can go and compile and close that. And now back in our third person player character, let's go and provide that here. Animation class, it's, be, it's gonna be ABP mirror. There we go. And now we can see that she has the same idle movement as our mannequin already. That's perfect. So all we need to do now in order to walk around with her is to make the Quinn mannequin invisible and then we're good to go. Let's go do that. It's as easy as selecting that mesh and under the details panel, type in VIS for visibility and then just disable the visibility in rendering. And that turns that off. We need to do one other thing. If you forget that, then the character is not gonna be able to walk around. You need to change visibility based anim tick option from always tick pose to always tick pose and refresh bones. So the top option in the drop down menu, and then you can say compile. I might also just for visual purposes here, go and grab my camera and just go drag that slightly closer to my character, maybe up a little bit so that I can see her a little bit better. And then go into your viewport again, hit play and boom, there we go. She is working just fine. Now I can see a little bit of poke through here on her legs and I'm going to show you how to fix that in Blender. There's also the issue that one part of her accessories is, seems to be sticking out. So we need to go and correct that and we'll do that in the next episode. But for now, yeah, this is the so-called live retargeting process. 